Hello there dudes and doodalinas. Here's the next drag strip episode that I'm gonna be filming with this Honda CRF 300. It has been enhanced pretty heavily. So here's the CRF we're testing today. It has the Adventure Man Cave racing tower, rally rate suspension, and performance tunes are full exhaust by Dominator 550 performance. 1.0 ECU tune. Then I have the high airflow lid on the airbox and I have the bigger 300 imitation stack that I built in my last previous video and the bike is feeling way more energetic at, at least in the upper RPM ranges so it's gonna be very interesting to see how much benefit do we get from this tune and you can decide after after we see the numbers is it something you want to do to your own bike but my ass down now is al already telling me that the bike is way more lively on the upper rpm ranges so i would say it is a benefit to the bike but today we will learn how much in numbers and of course i have this specialist race box mini timing gear here in the back links in the description let's get on with it let's do the testing and analyze the results later on the computer. Okay, let's see what this can do now. <laughs> that was a good one. Awesome, awesome results. Pretty much exactly or even faster than I expected. The bike is working great. Do you believe me now that the bike is transformed from 15 seconds to about 11? That's crazy, four seconds. <laughs> Welcome back to the studio. I got a few comments on my last video that I'm thinking noise equals power and it's all placebo because of my new exhaust but this is the reason i do this race box test is to let the results speak for themselves the results are actually very impressive but what's also impressive is that i got a lot more stability out of the results because the stock bike tended to get affected very easily each run was like plus or minus five seconds so there was a lot of variation and the best run was about 16 seconds on from 30 to 120 kph with the tuned bike i got a lot more stable results so within one second or or something like that so clearly it's not as affected uh, from small little gusts of wind or very small undulation differences that there is in these roads without a doubt i always also try to pick a date when the wind condition is perfect so very calm winds like two meter winds just so that it wouldn't affect the test in any meaningful way if we look at the best results here from both of these runs, the stock bike and the tuned bike, we can see a clear difference in the, in the numbers as well. We shouldn't put too much value on the slope graph here because as you can see the scale is totally different on each of these runs. Uh, if you look at the numbers themselves, the slope is actually pretty much the same on both of them. Also, if someone is going to claim that the slope is the one affecting the test the most, here's one of the tests that I did previous to this video, where the slope is actually done on the incline. So the bike is going uphill and the difference to the acceleration times are 
very minimal, if any, like a half a second or something. That's uh, something you're gonna get variation between each run anyway. So the slope is definitely not the reason here why we're getting these numbers. So the toot bike was about five seconds faster to reach 120 kilometers an hour. So I can quite comfortably say that the tune made a huge difference. And you can definitely notice it when you ride the bike. It, the bike pulls very hard, even in the upper register of uh, RPMs. So after 6,000, all the way to 10,000, the bike pulls way better than the stock bike used to perform. So what I can conclude from these tests and from the testing that I've done riding the bike is that the stock CR300 is very, very restricted from the factory. So I am gonna encourage everyone to do these mods if they feel comfortable doing a little bit of work to their own bike. I think the mod that I did in my previous video is pretty easy to do and it's not as risky as uh, implementing the CB300 stack. So modifying the stock stack is actually beneficial as we can see from these tests and it's gonna work fine because it's the stock bike in the airbox, it's not gonna, not gonna cause you any problems going forward. The next bike I'm gonna be testing with the race box equipment is gonna be the Torex 660. So subscribe to the channel if you wanna see the upcoming tests this summer. There's gonna be a lot of bikes that I'm gonna be running this same test on. So it's gonna be interesting. See you on the next videos. And check the failed run at the end as well.